Hola y bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. This is a... Bienvenidos. No, oh, perdón. This is Beginners 42. And today we're dealing with... We're dealing with... <laughs> That's in English. Just wait for this Spanish. <laughs> Ser en estar. Oh, to be Christ. or not to be. That is the question. Nos vemos en la segunda parte. Cynthia. Oh. Yes. Right. Ser en estar. Ser en right. This is a beginner's class. And yet, how many advanced speakers do you know that still have issues with ser en estar? Uh, I think you carry that <laughs> throughout all the levels. Yeah. Uh, different, different things, different problems. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, but yeah, even at the, at the advanced level, every now and then there's the... Hmm, that could be ser o estar, or it could be both, or it could be... Yeah. By the way, when you say to be or not to be, which one would you choose? Ser. Why? Uh, because it's to be as a person, uh, uh, yeah, rather than just ser to be in no a place. Ser. It's not to be here or to be there, that's a question. <laughs> to be in the bar, or no <laughs> to be in the bar or to be at home, that is the question. Yeah. Um, what, I, what I believe, and it's just to back up what Cynthia says, if you, can, as a beginner, if you can get ser and estar right, then it will hold you in good stead as you go through intermediate level and advanced level. Yes. If you get it wrong at the beginning, you will constantly get it wrong as you go along because everything is based around the first question is cero estar. And then after that, it's Fre Frederick <laughs> or, or, or imperfect. Estaba estuve. Yeah. 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 And, and what, therefore, if, you, if your foundation is right, when you build on it, you'll get a really solid Spanish that you can count on. Sure. If the foundation's wrong, then everything goes to pot. I mean, we had a student who had decided that no more was she going to worry about ser o estar oh, yes. and preterit imperfect. And she just said estaba for every was. Estaba. No, she said so fue. 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 No, there was somebody else who used estaba oh. for every was. Yeah, one of my students, she said, I'm just going to use fue for every. <laughs> And it worked. It worked 25% of the yes, time. Yes, it worked sometimes and you would go, yeah. mm, well done. But actually, no, because there, because there are eight options, it worked uh, only 7.5% of the time. So it's not, you've really got to know your rules. So li listen, what, we, what I want to do is I want to talk about bananas. I want okay. us to talk about bananas, Cynthia. Yeah, okay. It makes a lot of sense. Right. To show the concept of ser en estar, what we need to do is to look at the difference between when we talk about a banana, okay? Hmm. Let's let's talk about this. Bananas are yellow. Correct, Cynthia? Typically, yes, they Typically. are yellow. It's not With really true, black yeah. Bits. Yeah, it's not really <laughs> true. But what we're talking about is the concept of what a banana is. Bananas are yellow. Right? If if a kitty draws on a paper, and this is great for this is said. If a child, you say, draw me a banana, a child is going to draw a yellow, going to get the yellow pencil and going to draw a yellow banana, right? That's ser. Ser is the characteristics, is what we believe to be true about something. For example, the sky is blue. Yeah, we mm -hmm. believe that to mm -hmm. be true. It's not mm -hmm. true, and, and certainly not in the northeast of England. In Spain, sometimes. Okay, not at the moment. So it's all a concept. Ser is a concept of what we believe. So, for example, bananas yellow. How would we say that, Cynthia? Los plátanos, o el plátano. El plátano. El plátano. El plátano. El plátano. El plátano es amarillo. There we are. Now, that's the concept, okay? Ser. It's a characteristic. It's a permanent trait. That's what we would call permanent trait. But then, it's not really true. Because bananas are all kinds of colors. Sometimes they're green. Sometimes they're yellow. Sometimes they're black. Sometimes they've got bits of black on them, yeah? So, what we need when we come to estar, we start using estar to show something that falls outside of what we expect. Mm -hmm. This is not what I expect. Bananas are yellow, okay? So, for example, I go to the supermarket and I get, pick up some bananas, but they're green. 
Okay. Okay, and I bring them home, and Cynthia says to me, Gordon, they're still green. Los plátanos están verdes. Están. Why is Cynthia using están? Why? Why not son? Because this is not the normal state for bananas. <laughs> so they are in. They're not yellow yet. They are in the green state of. Uh, yeah. The banana state. <laughs> banana state. Yeah, the state of bananas. <laughs> what is it really important, and this is something we're going to come to in a moment, you must understand that estar is talking about a state. And this yes. can be a changing state, okay? So the bananas are in the state of greenness. Okay, this is a process. Estar is used for process. So that's why Cynthia said, Los plátanos están verdes. What were you thinking about, Gordon? And I was thinking about them ripening in the future, okay? But then, two days pass, and the bananas have become yellow. And Cynthia says... Ah, in this case I would say, los plátanos ya están amarillos. <gasps> You've used a star. <laughs> ya están amarillos. <laughs> What on earth is going on? No, los plátanos son amarillos. El plátano es amarillo. <laughs> Why are we using estar for exactly the same reason, yeah? Uh -huh. Why Why did you choose estar? Because it's changed the state. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not a description of what a banana is. I'm, I'm conveying the information that it's changed from something to something. And now it's on this state. Yes, a state of being yellow. Exactly. We're talking about a process. Estar is a temporary state. Ser is a permanent trait. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, what would happen, and this is important, this is, the, I want you to listen. <laughs> if Cynthia says to me, Gordon, los plátanos son amarillos, what is she saying to me? She's not saying, oh, the bananas are yellow now. No. I'm saying, hey, bananas are yellow. Like, like one of those Good. fun fact, bananas are yellow. <laughs> fun fact. Yeah. A bit of information. <laughs> yes, so you know, bananas are yellow. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. <laughs> okay, you can smoke banana skins. They used to, didn't they? They like saying, oh, yeah, it's like um, legal, a legal drug, banana what? skins. Yeah, you have to you roast smoke? them. In the, you roast them in the Hang oven. On, you say smoke. Smoke. You smoke banana, banana peel. I haven't. Let's be clear about this. What's going on? No, when I was a kid, he used to say, get banana skins, put them in the oven, dry them out, uh, roast them, and then smoke them, and you get an, a, a natural high. I don't know. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about. I bet they're going to do that at home. Never yeah, mind. Yeah, they're going to do that. They're going to do But not green ones, eh? Okay? All right. So Wow. Are kids going to watch this? Are you giving no, them ideas? No, okay, I'll click them? on the boxes, not for kids. <laughs> 18. Um, 18 only. So when Cynthia is saying, los plátanos están amarillos, she's referring to the process. They've gone from green to yellow. All right? But then two days later, we don't eat them, and then they're black. And Cynthia says, Gordon, los plátanos están negros. Another state change. Están negros. Okay? And if then they went on to be rotten, you would say... Los plátanos están podridos. Okay. Another state change. So look, look what, what's happened. It's están verdes, están amarillos, están negros, están podridos. All estar, we're talking about the process. But when we say, es amarillo un plátano, that's, we're talking, we're describing the the trait of a banana we're not talking about what this this particular banana mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. yeah so and remember ser has nothing to do with the truth okay in in this respect bananas are yellow right the sky is blue clouds are white all of that's not true but it's a concept that we hold in our mind that's what ser is yeah yo soy profesor i'm not just a teacher but it's like what we use is like this conceptual thing. That's mm -hmm. all. That descriptive yeah. um, verb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and one of the great ways of remembering, I mentioned it once, I'll say it again. 
repetition for emphasis is as a child would draw that typically is said it's this conceptual thing you know um, sand is yellow okay for example sand is yellow on, on a beach typically sometimes it's white okay uh, in in the canary islands it's black mm -hmm. right imagine imagine you were um, you'd come from spain and you had yellow sand on the beaches yeah yeah and then you paddled to the canary islands okay uh -huh. and you arrived at the beach and all the sand was black what would you say i would say la arena es negra es negra yes mm -hmm. you wouldn't say esta negra la, la arena no mm -hmm. because i don't think that sand can change okay so therefore you're using so i would ser. have i would use ser because that's the way sand is all the time in that place, I would go, la arena es negra aquí. Yeah, so that's, there's no process. The, the sand isn't going through a process. It would be different if I went every single year to the same beach and one year the sand was black. All of a sudden, like it turned black. Then I would say, la arena está negra. Exactly. What happened? ¿Qué ha pasado? Exactly. This is not the usual. But if I go somewhere else, Okay. That's the way it is there, So this yeah? is really important as well. Last thing. When something does not conform, when something has changed, that's more more to the truth. When something has changed from what you it sh you, you expect it to be, like yellow sand, la, la arena es amarilla en esta playa. And then, and then suddenly it's, it's, they've spilled oil all over it and it's gone black. Mm -hmm. Then you would say... Está negra. Está negra. Está negra. Right, that's saying this is outside of the normal process. This is not what I expect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The sky is blue. When the sky is grey, what do you say? El cielo está gris. Está gris. Why? Because we know that behind, you know, behind every dark cloud, there's a blue sky. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but if if the if the sky is grey today because it's a cloudy day and, and you know a bit of storm and all of that and I today we have a grey sky and I say oh el cielo está está gris hoy and then suddenly it changed and the sun came out and the sky turned blue then I could say el, then I would say el cielo está azul y ahora está azul el cielo and now the sky is blue exactly. Okay. Process. It's exactly it's changed. With the yellow banana. And it's on another state. Yeah, exactly. It's gone from grey to blue. Yes. You're talking about the process with this style. Yes. But when you want to talk about what colour the sky is, that's yes. said. Exactly. Conceptual, yeah? This permanent trade. All right, so if you can keep that in mind, when you start seeing your examples of ser and estar, when they're talking about things, and you hear a Spanish person using estar to talk about something that you expect should be said, then typically the, that means that the process has changed mm -hmm. along the way and they are actually saying, this is not what I'm expecting. Yeah, it's a bit of a surprise. Mm -hmm. Estar. Ser is the normal. Yeah? Okay. But if you want more information, we have a book on ser and estar. Exactly. In present we have and two, past. two, actually. Well, we have two. <laughs> yeah, we have two. Okay, They're, they are on Amazon. Okay, I'll put up the, the images here. Um, so yes, the, all the information's there and the banana stories in there the as well story. as the lemon story. <laughs> yeah. Okay, entonces, I hope that you've enjoyed that. Y bueno, nos vemos la próxima vez, ¿no? No, nos no. vamos. Nos vamos. Y nos vemos. <laughs> yes of this. Yes. <laughs> I just like to mix it up a bit. Hasta Vamos. luego. <laughs> Adiós.